Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nura and I am 14 years old. Today I will be telling you about a female companion of the Prophet, Nasiba bin Kaab, and hopefully you learn something new. She was also known as Umar Mara and was married to Zaid bin Asim Mazni, with whom she had two sons, Abdullah and Habib, who were both companions of the Prophet. Here are some interesting facts about her. The first thing about her is her participation in the Battle of Uhud. Umar ibn al-Khattab says that the Prophet once told him that in the Battle of Uhud, wherever he turned, left or right, he saw Umar Mara fighting to defend him. When the archers from the mountains disobeyed the Prophet and came down to collect the bounty, the Christ used that as an opportunity. Seeing this, Umar Mara used her small bow and arrow and bravely shot the enemy soldiers. She eventually became known as the Iron Lady of Islam. Secondly, she was one of the first two women of Medina to go to the Prophet and pledge allegiance to him. The third fact is that her two sons, Abdullah and Habib, were martyrs. Here are some of her admirable qualities. She is mainly known for her courageous exploits in battles. The Prophet smiled when he saw the courage of the mother and son and said, From where can anyone get courage like you, O Mamara? He smiled and thanked Allah who gave her that strength. She was very learned in the Quran and Hadith. As soon as she pledged allegiance to the Prophet, she devoted herself to the education and training of women in accordance with the teachings of Islam. Once she said to the Prophet that only men were mentioned in the Quran and women were often deprived of any importance, then this verse was revealed. Verily, the Muslim men and women, the believers, men and women, the men and the women who are obedient to Allah, the men and the women who are truthful, the men and the women who are patient, the men and the women who are humble, the men and the women who give sadaqah, the men and the women who observe fast, the men and the women who guard their chastity, the men and the women who remember Allah with much their hearts and tongues, Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a great reward. That is part. Another great quality is her patience. When she received the news of the martyr of her son, she displayed exemplary patience. How can I emulate her in society? We should keep on learning the Quran and Hadith. Her patience we should look up to. Her courage and her love for the hereafter should be our goal. Once in battle, Umar Mara asked the Prophet to pray for her. Then she said she does not care what becomes of her in this world. We too should not fear our death if we do good in this world and follow the examples of the Prophet. In conclusion, whenever we hear of Umar Mara, it is always about her courage or patience. She is a role model of all the women of Islam and we should all look up to her.